I'm John from Extra Boxing here with Will the Power Coix out of West Chicago. Today's topic, uh, inside fighting defense. So defense when you're fighting on the inside, okay, for boxing. So uh, one of the first, there's two things in general I would like to say. When you're fighting on the inside, head forward for sure. Head forward for sure because there's just, there's just less to cover up and down. If you lean back like this, you feel like, man, he can go up, down, like, I feel like I have a lot, especially the higher, the more my head is in the air and the lower my body is, like, it's just a lot more to cover. But when I do this, I'm, I'm all of a sudden, I'm presenting a smaller opportunity. Also, any shots that he throws to my head is more likely to catch me in the forehead. I can take that. And also, too, if he throws more head shots or he, he swings head shots, boom, I can get there, right? So it's kind of, it's just kind of easier that way. My head's already down. It's easier for me to go down. Also, too, if I feel a hook that's coming clean, yeah, I can... I can pull back. I have room to pull back. Whereas I'm up here, and especially if you're leaning back on the inside, there's a good chance you're leaning back because you're on the ropes. And that's just, you just don't have any mobility. So I try to hold a forward position so I, I have places to go, right? And if he's so, like, crushed onto me that I have nowhere to go and he's in front of me, I can also step out. I go under through his armpit, and I, and I pivot out into safety. So that's the first one. The second one is where my arms are. This is going to be... This is going to be like a point of controversy, I'm sure, for some people. Some people, when they go on the inside, they like to hold their arms in. So it becomes this kind of weird, like, I'm sure when you play body shots in high school, you've done something like this. You hold your arms in. When I fight like that, I just feel too tight. I feel too balled up. I'm, I'm never, I don't feel like I can open up as quickly. So what I just do is I loosen my arms, actually. I feel like I have more arms in place, and I don't keep my arms to myself. I, keep, I try to touch him. I try to make contact with him, right? If I keep it to myself, then I just feel like it's him punching me, and my arms are just stuck on defense the whole time. So I like to let my arms out. From here, I like to leave my head more to my left foot, and then if he throws a hook to the body, I can drop, boom, boom, okay, boom, boom. If he goes high, something like that, something like that. Now, you may feel like, I, what I don't want you to do is keep your hands to yourself and try to guess where he's going. What I do is on the inside, I start pushing a lot, and I feel his gloves. So I start pushing, and he's going to push against me too. He's not going to move away. And then whatever he tries to throw, exactly, exactly. So I try to follow his gloves, and, and, and I make a lot of contact with him, right? And so it's, it's going to be more like that. And sometimes when you push people's gloves, they're going to attack. In a way, you're controlling when he attacks. So that, that's my personal, that's how I would do it. And I don't fight on the inside so much. I, as the years pass, I enjoy it more and more because I actually get to be lazy. When we fight from the outside, I, have, I feel like I have to bounce around a lot. I have to chase people. I have to run from people. But on the inside, there's a lot of fighters that don't like to be there. And they don't like to be touched. You know, little things like this. I poke, I poke. You know, now, now that uh, now the, the older I get, I love this right hand poke to the body right here. Boom, just boom. Just, just, just I'm not cranking, turning, and all that. Just just letting him know I'm there. And it does interesting things. It starts to change your elbow. They don't like it. They put it more in the center. They, oh, sorry, my bad, my bad. Right. So, <laughs> so, you know, and so in, in the heavy bag, I do that too. Most fighters on the heavy bag, they always have to throw a hard right. Now in the heavy bag, I pop that little one on the inside. I, I think, John, what he said was great about fighters who like to get touched, but also they don't like to be tangled up too much either. And I don't want a hug or anything like that or a one arm hold or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. But what you do want is some shoulder pressure. So if you have this angle, you press up against the shoulder, kind of a little shoulder shrug, and here you want to get in the angles. My key for the my key for the for the inside fighting is use a lot of my shoulders to push him off, to spin him off so I can get body shots on top and work. So my game for inside fighting is to always try to work the angles. Never be squared up, toe to toe. My foot is in line, my foot's in line, our heads are matching, gloves are matching. Cause here I can hit I can hit him and he can hit me right back. We're both evenly in the in the in the in that sense. But if I'm more dominant on my on this side, again. He, it's harder for him to spin out, and if he turns this way, I can just rush in this way. Now I'm still on this side now. I covered the other side. So you almost want him to do what you want him to do. So if I'm dominant, again, for, I'll show you again. So if I'm dominant on the left side, I'm working here, little short shots, and he starts to spin out, spin to the right, I can just follow in.
And that's going to discombobulate him. He won't be right for that because everyone's so used to be separated once they turn out. Follow his turn. So if we're squared up and he does a turn, I throw a right hand, he missed, he missed. I just follow in with my right side. I miss. He spins out to his backside. I go in like this. And I push that shoulder so he follows out. Boom. So my goal is to always have some kind of contact on his shoulder, whether it's right here or whether it's over here. And, always, and if he moves, I try to follow that, try to follow him. And that gets exhausting for him and not so much for you. Those are my quick tips. I love what Wills just said. And there is something that this is a problem that you will come uh, in inside fighting. Sometimes in inside fighting, you will have a fighter that wants to be, you know, mano to mano right in front of you. They want to show that they, they, they're not afraid. They want to brawl it out with you. But you have other fighters like Will, they're very smart and they're going to always try to take your back. They're always going to try to find a way to pivot outside you. Okay, so he pivots outside me. Boom, right there. Okay, so I'm going to do it from here. I'm going to start us, start us, uh, sorry, no, right here, right here. He's standing right in front of me. From here, he's going to pivot outside me. Okay, from here, he's in the dominant position, right? And he starts to wail on me and all that. There is something that I like to do when, fight, when I know fighters like to go behind me. I lean here and I go behind them. So same thing. So let's say we just, we're inside fighting. Bah, bah, bah. Okay, he, and again, so if I feel that he's doing that, I lean away. I lean away and actually what, what, what my technique is, you see I point, I point my knee to the opposite and I, and I spin around. So a lot of times I feel like they want to go there. I don't try to look at them or free my leg. Sometimes you can't free your leg because they trap you with the right leg. Exactly, you can't free it. All right, so from there, I don't free my leg. I just here. I, I can feel it. A lot of fighters do that. And, and I spin around and I reverse it on them. And if I reverse it on them, sometimes I'll even put a glove on them. Like so, for example, he spins around me. I spin around him. I put a glove right here and, and I just... I don't want to mess around with them because these kinds of mobile fighters, if, if you're tired, you don't just put a glove out and just once you hold their neck down, they don't want to come inside on you anymore. I'm John from Exit Boxing. This is Will the Power Coix. Join us on the next video. Thanks for watching.